So what are your must-haves or go-to in terms of fashion? White T-shirt, white shirts, um, black pants. I think these are what every man should have in their wardrobe. Um, I think the fit is very important. Uh, the material is very important. So, so a lot of people might think that um, a white T-shirt is just a white T-shirt, but I think finding the right white T-shirt is actually very hard. You know, um, but every man should have a white T-shirt and a white shirt in their wardrobe. A nice pair of shoes, definitely. Um, preferably, you have uh, one kind of shoe for every occasion. Maybe you have a leather, a leather pair of shoes, a sneakers, because I mean, current generation we go to so many different kinds of occasions, events, right? So, so wearing the right pair of shoes and a good pair of shoes is actually will complete the whole look. Do you have any styling tips for men? Know your body proportion well. You know, I think that's the the most important thing. Um, you know, like the trend can be this, can be that, but if it doesn't suit your body proportion, it just wouldn't work. Or another tip that I have is alter your clothes to fit your body proportions, even if it's just a t-shirt. You know, I, I, I bring my t-shirts to alter so that it fits my body length better, um, especially because some t-shirts can be really long and it can throw your whole body proportion off. So I say once you get your body proportion right in an outfit, you will look okay. Yeah. So maybe another tip is to find the right cincher? Yeah, find, find the right cincher. <laughs> Actually, we have anywhere, you know, even in HDB, you know, they always have a lot of tailors underneath the blocks of flats. Okay. I always go to those. So to date, what is your biggest fashion risk? Biggest fashion risk? <laughs> Too many. I've taken a lot of risk in my career because I have no idea why stylists really just love to throw weird things on me. But what I've learned is, you know, in fashion, don't take it too seriously, just have fun. Um, if you look at a piece, you might think that it might not work on you. But just try it on, find ways to make it work and you will, you will be surprised. Uh, for instance, for one, um, once I went to an award ceremony in Malaysia, so I had this really poofy trench coat uh, I'm not going to mention the brand, which I thought would make me look really, because I'm kind of skinny, right? So it will, it will, it will eat, eat me up, it will swallow me whole. But somehow I made it work, you know, I, I, I actually drip it on instead of putting it on, and it worked. And yeah, I, I think that's a lesson that I learned is, you know, just have fun, be bold, try new things. It's just fashion. I mean, what, what's the worst? People might just say, that, oh, you dress badly, and, and people forget about it, so it doesn't matter. What does luxury fashion mean to you? Luxury fashion can mean a lot of things to many people. I think it's a very broad um, perspective. But to me, um, luxury fashion or luxury brand um, is about the history, it's about the thought that goes into the whole image of this brand, it's about how it can relate to the current generation, so it has to evolve as well. But that said, not um, forgetting the history that they have been amassing throughout the years. So that to me is um, all the factors that, that define the luxury brand of fashion. You're mm. an actor, you're a writer as well, and you're a beauty entrepreneur. Mm. So is there any other things that you are not aware of? Are you able to share them? I mean, I think there are many sides to a person. Um, people know me as an actor, but I'm not just an actor. There are so many other sides of me that I want to explore. I will, there are many other interests that I want to pursue and I think it's the same for everyone you know I mean for example I would I, I would love to do something for animals because I love animals um, I'm starting to get into gardening mm. so so you know I, I, I oh is it really <laughs> so so I have this small plot of land outside my house wow. that I loosely use the term garden because it's such a small plot of land that I grow like flowers and stuff and 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 it's pretty interesting to see like what kind of flowers that I would oh yeah, I okay. <laughs> recently I've been getting to gardening and it's such an interesting process you know um, and finding the kind of flowers that I like um, things that I can plant what what can be done in Singapore and what is not suitable to plant in Singapore I have this really small plot of land outside my house that I loosely use the term garden because it's just a very small plot of land 
like you know like like the process can make make you like find out so much things about yourself. Like I realized that I'm really <clears throat> I'm really attracted to flowers that that will that will only last a day. You know, so so the flowers I have in my garden, they bloom in the daytime and they will die off at night, and then the next day they will bloom again. I'm just really attracted to the idea that, like you know, beauty doesn't last forever, but it doesn't mean that you cannot bloom again. So I'm really attracted to flowers that have this kind of a blooming cycle, and that makes me like know more about myself as well. So as I was saying, yeah, um, I think there's just many sides to a person that 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 you can explore and, and develop. And I think that's the same for everyone. Yeah. Do you have a favorite plant or flower? I have a, I have this flower uh, in my garden called ten o'clock flower, oh. because it will always bloom at ten o'clock, and it will die off at around maybe four p.m. Oh. <laughs> and then the next day, ten o'clock, it will bloom again. Oh, so precious. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there a name for the plant? I think it's Portulaca. Okay. If I'm absolutely correct, if oh. I'm wrong, then please cut it off. No. <laughs> Portula Kai, if I'm not wrong, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. So, uh, I'm very curious how do you manage your time, you know? You, you seem to have so much going on, and yet you still have time to pursue your mm. non acting interests. So, are you able to share with us how you do it? I think the thing is, don't manage. <laughs> don't feel like you need to manage your time, you know? Just do what comes naturally. And I think there's a natural system in everyone that subconsciously you will know what needs to be done first. It's very stressful if you constantly feel like, oh, I have to manage my time, I have to do this, I have to do that. Actually, you don't. Uh, when it's time to work, just work hard. When work slows down and you have time to do other things, then just do other things, you know, just, just be natural. Um, I think it's really stressful to consciously have to manage your time or consciously I have to blah, blah, blah. So, uh, in terms of your, your best and you know, I always have a belief that nothing is bad, just that mm, maybe you might not see the good in, in, in certain moments now. But I truly, I mean, it, it sounds cliche, but honestly, I, I really think that nothing is bad. Yeah. I mean, before, before I went to China, there was a time where, I've, where, you know, when I was feeling really um, uninspired. But I think those time trained me for, for, for the opportunities after as well. So you know, seriously, nothing, nothing is bad la, to me. Find little joy in life. Like for example, um, maybe on the way here, I, 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 I pass by an ice cream store, then I'm like, oh, I must get a, a scoop of ice cream later. And that, that little thing or little moment can, can be um, very helpful for your mental health. You know, like, let's say today you're so packed, but maybe that ice cream can make you feel so much more um, peaceful, you know. So I would say find little joy every day in your busy life. Yeah. Can I also say like, uh, be spontaneous? Yeah, be spontaneous. Absolutely, be spontaneous because you never know what, what 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 you being spontaneous will bring you or lead you to. Okay. Mm. So what's next for you uh, in terms of your career? We understand that the reunion dinner just mm. came out. Mm. So what's next? Um, I will be going back to China to film a new series. Um, I I I cannot reveal too much uh, details yet, as per usual. Uh, I've I've actually finished filming a lot of shows that will be showing con like you know, con concurrently. Um, but I also cannot review uh, because China policies now are a bit, I mean, a, a, a bit uncertain. Mm -hmm. So, so sometimes when you say something, they might change last minute. Mm -hmm. So I don't want that to happen. So, so yeah, I would say just watch out, okay. <laughs> watch out for for my stuff. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, let me circle back to the previous mm. question. What's the best movie of the previous so far? Just now you shared about the low point. Best memory. Mm. Sure many. Yeah, many as well. It's hard to pinpoint best. You know, once I was actually, um, when I was doing a local series, um, I was doing a really small role, 
and um, Heights? no, <laughs> after that, uh, and it was during lunch time, and I remember I was just by the roadside, squatting down, eating my lunch out of a lunch box, um, and then one of the extra came to me and said that, oh, you know what, you don't have to squat by the roadside to eat the lunch box, um, you can actually just sit with the main cast, it doesn't matter. And I did that. And that was, a, that was a very good memory to me because that, that makes me realize that there's actually no, no big or small role. It's, sometimes it's how you see yourself. Because to me, I feel like, oh, I'm just, I'm just doing such a small role. Never mind, I'm just going to squat by the roadside and eat. I, I, I feel embarrassed to sit with the main cast. But, but after, after I sit with the main cast and everybody just welcomed me, I realize it's all in your mindset. You know, I think that was a very good memory for me because it switched my perspective and, and made me realize that how you see yourself is actually more important than, than like you, have to, you, have, you, have to, you have to think better of yourself, uh, in, in, in other words. Um, don't, don't put yourself down and don't belittle yourself or think that whatever you're doing is not important. <laughs> yeah. Does that also make you want to pay forward? Mm, I think it's ingrained in me. I don't, I don't, I don't con consciously think that oh, I must pay for it by doing this and that. I mean, I think it's ingrained in me, and and of course everyone around around me, because we attract the same kind of of people around you. I mean, respect and, and all these things. You know, um, sharing sharing what I've learned with, with with newer and younger actors or people in the same industry. I think it's, it comes naturally. It's not like a, oh, I must, I must pay forward kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now on to more light-hearted questions. Okay. Um, we know that you are interested in crystals. Mm. So how, how did you get How do you know I'm Chris interested in crystal? <laughs> I read out about you, you know. Okay. <laughs> so how, how do you get into this and do you practice uh, crystal healing? You know, I... It's just a random moment that I, 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 I start to like crystal just because I think it, they are pretty. Mm. I, I, not because of any healing moments or anything. But after that, I realized people tell me that, you know, if at this point of time you are attracted to crystal, maybe because that's when you need some healing. But I wouldn't know, you know, it's just a moment where I, I just oddly start to like crystals. Yeah, so, so I, have, I have collected quite a, a, a collection of, of crystals which, <laughs> which uh, I have to keep some of them because my house is a sort of like a minimalist um, decor so I cannot put too, many, too much things outside. But yeah, yeah uh, uh, I, I, I am into them um, but I'm not very knowledgeable into them. Um, to me, it's something that comes naturally as well. So uh, which is your, your favourite crystal? I like rose quartz, yeah. Um, I have so many rose quartz. I have the tall towers. I have the huge flat, uh, flat slabs. Um, yeah, which I, I'm trying to stop myself from buying more. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I need uh, harmony and love in my life. <laughs> okay. So, um, is there any other things that you would like to share with the Yahoo audience? Um, well, I just want to thank everyone, the readers especially, for being so supportive of me. Um, Especially knowing that I'm the uh, most oh, searched, search. most searched uh, uh, in in Yahoo, uh, it's very humbling because I, I would one I would never expect one day that I'll be the most searched, you know, in in, in any uh, 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 media. So yeah, I just want to very humbly say thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thanks for having me.